if you're wired to want to be helpful, if you are just you know, you talked about curiosity and creativity as maybe a problem solving tool, it's easy to jump straight to problem solving. And so what I find myself sometimes when I'm listening, thinking about how I'm going to respond uh -huh. rather than really kind of shutting that off and, and listening to the other person. Do you find that as well? And is that something you work with uh, it's clients? It's so on? hard. I have so many good ideas. I have so many good solutions for you. <laughs> as, even as you're telling me that, I'm like, oh, tell them how to do this. And this is what I do. And I'm like, oh, I'm doing exactly the thing that you're just explaining to me that is your challenge. So first I identify. I feel like there's a toggle switch in my brain that I have to physically feel like I'm doing something different to shut all that down. And I always feel like such a school marm. Is that such an outdated, like a crossing guard? <laughs> I don't know, someone with a visor and a clipboard when I'm like, these are the things you don't do when you're listening. You're not problem solving. You're not saying, oh, that happened to me, or you should do this, or why did, shut it all down. And that's threatening to me until I realize like, oh, that's actually super relaxing. I don't have to multitask. I don't have to feel the burden of someone else's problem on me when they're not asking me to take on that burden. And if everything is a problem you're going to take on because you're so brilliant to solve, you've used 40% of your charge by 11 a.m. So can I say that's part one to my answer? And now yeah. I feel like I'm getting away from your question, but this other brilliant thing go, occurred to me, to so I really want to share it. <laughs> okay. Good. The other part is I realized the assumption, and as an aid worker that's built into it, is that I will be the one who can solve it. I will be the one who actually is the adult in the room. And that feels great for a little while. Like, look how awesome I am, and thank God here I am in charge of my life. And But... Actually collaborating with other people with their skills and experience is amazing <laughs> because I want to live in a world where there's other capable people with great ideas and that complement mine that are completely different than mine. So what would the world look like if I really did have all the best answers all the time? I would miss out a lot. So I also, there's some like worldview thing that I'm toggling in it too. That's like, oh, this is exciting. I'm going to get to hear someone else's ideas. And if I can be here to create that like zone of creativity for them and perhaps a little de-escalation so that they can get into their best thinking spot and they have a time and a space to do that, look at the benefit I'll get. That's huge.